Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. All right, these questions are all about Plan B, which is a pill form of emergency contraception. In the United States, it's available what we call over-the-counter or available without a prescription at a pharmacy or a drugstore. All right, question one. I had sex the other day, but the condom broke. I took a plan B, good job, the next morning. Is there a chance I could get pregnant? Okay, so yes. Um, you did everything right though, very responsible. Um, First things, plan B. You want to take them within 72 hours, ideally, which you did. Um, although, technically, you can take them up to five days later, but usually we want it within the first three days for the best efficacy. But is there a chance that you're pregnant? Maybe, but plan B is pretty darn good. You did everything according to the directions, so good job. Which brings me to question number two. I am on the pill, but I missed a pill pack and had unprotected sex. I took plan B, but I'm over the weight limit. How long should I wait if I don't get my period to take a pregnancy test? So to sum it all up, really, how do you know when plan B has worked? Um, so what I would recommend is taking a pregnancy test if you don't get your period taking a pregnancy test three weeks after you've had intercourse. And that's gonna be, that's gonna give enough time for the potential sperm egg fertilization and then implantation into the, utero, the uterine wall and then resulting in hormones and a positive pregnancy test. So just to make sure plan B worked, I would check three weeks after you take the plan B. So the next period and knowing your period schedule can be tricky because, question three, why do I bleed after taking plan B? Plan B is a huge dose of a hormone and it throws off your regular hormone levels that cause your period. This can cause early bleeding, it can cause delayed bleeding none of which are an indication that you are pregnant, but more an indication that you've taken this high dose of a hormone and it's interfered with your normal hormone signaling in your body. So unscheduled bleeding uh, is a big side effect of plan B. And again, some people can have bleeding pretty soon after taking it. Others can have bleeding that doesn't happen for months and your period might take a little while to sort of reset itself. So keep those things in mind when taking plan B. I had unprotected sex and the next day I took plan B, but now my vagina is swollen and in a bit of pain. I'm not sure if it's from plan B or from sex. How do I know? Okay, so the typical side effects of plan B are going to be, like we just discussed, the unscheduled or irregular bleeding. But the other major effects are going to be headaches, breast tenderness, nausea. And again, all of those are kind of related to the surge of hormone that is delivered by plan B. So those are the major side effects. I suspect any sort of vaginal soreness the day after sex, it's probably more related to sex and not related to plan B. So uh, difference between plan B side effects and sex side effects. All right, question number five. Hi. Hey, um, I heard that Plan B doesn't work with girls that weigh over 170 pounds. What can we do if accidents happen and Plan B doesn't work for us? So that is a wonderful question. And really it's not the weight thing. Um, it's more, studies have shown that uh, Plan B is not as effective for BMIs or body mass indexes above 30 doesn't mean they're not effective. They're still effective, but they're not as effective as they are for those who have a BMI of less than 30. 
Now, this is difficult because, again, in the United States, Plan B is available without a prescription. There are other options out there that are more effective for individuals with a higher BMI. They need a prescription, though. So, one, talk to your doctor, um, and you could potentially get a prescription. Two, take Plan B. It'll still be effective. It's just not quite as effective as if you had a lower BMI. But it has still shown to have some efficacy um, if you have a BMI that's a little bit over 30. So don't worry about that. All right, those are our five Plan B questions. More to come, I'm sure. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.